Hello, welcome to my books and walking to counting down the 10 best mocks of Book World Chicago 2023. So at number 10, we have the Winnie the Pooh art piece. I really like this piece. I love how it's using only little play elements to create four of the more iconic characters from the Winnie the Fruit Pooh franchise. And one thing to know about this one, it's way bigger in person than it looks like on camera. It's very small on camera, but in real life, it's like humongous. At number nine, we have the Maleficent Dragon from Disney Sleeping Beauty. If I really like, I like all the elements that they use. I am okay with them using the official Maleficent figure. It's really cool in my opinion. They were rumored to make a set on this model, but I don't think it ever happened because it was supposed to come out in June the week, but it never did. But either way, I do love this mock. It's really cool, but it's a little bit small. I love it if they make it like the size of Disney Springs in Florida. At number eight, we have the only Star Wars on this list, which is the Yavin 4 base. I really like this model. I just want to know at the beginning. So on the X one might be official Lego set, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But the main building is the official design or the the mark. I really like this. I like all the ten elements for the wall, and I like how simple and just empty it is. It does a lot of justice for the set. Or like mock, I should say. At number seven, we have the T-Rex art piece. This model I really like. I like all the dark colors that they use. It really makes it pop out. And some of it actually does pop out, literally, because they raise it a little bit for like the smoke area. So that's really cool. I do like that a lot. It does make it look really cool. I do like the model a lot. But it may not be one of my favorites. I kind of like it a little bit, but I feel like it's good enough to be number seven. Next up at number six, we have the DC City or um layout. This model I really like. I like how it has like two big towers for the Daily Planet and for Lex Luthor's tower. And I also like the Hall of Justice. And I also like how it has like older Batmobiles and newer Batmobiles. Batmobile, and it like has just a ton of action going on around it. And I really like this model. It's really cool, and also at the convention center, it's really tall. Next up in number five, we have Jurassic Park Visitor Center. Model was very huge. One thing I did like about it was there was on like this spinnable plate that was like motorized, so you were able like spin it and take a look at everything. It had a lot of details even inside, which no way was really able able to see. So that was really cool that they gave that attention to detail. It was still last year, I'm pretty sure, but I do really like it still, even though it's a copy design from last year. It was made by the same person, though. At number four, we have this old-fashioned yellow car. I kind of don't really like the model too much, but it being yellow, I wish it was maybe like red or something. It would probably look a little bit better. But everything outside just being yellow is really awesome. I do like how like the interior is very detailed. That's what I think is probably the best part about it. I kind of like the title on the side, but I guess just referencing how the actual car is, in my opinion, just doesn't look good. The title on the side, but it's still one of my favorites. Now we're down to the top three, so for number three, we have Disney World. I really like this model. I like how they reference the most important parts about Disney World in here. But one thing I don't like about it is that they use the actual Disney Castle. I think they do buy two to, like, put them both together. That's still, it, 
a little bit of mocking, but still I kind of feel like that's still a little bit too close to the design, especially compared to another one that we'll be taking a look at a little bit later. At second place, we have the Spider-Man comic book cover. So I really like this model. I like how it pops out. It's really cool for that part of it. But one thing I kind of don't like about it is that it's maybe a little bit too big in my opinion because I mean, like, I think like it's a little bit small, but at the same time, it still makes sense that it's really big. But maybe it should have went a little bit smaller to make it feel a little bit more normal. But I do like how they have Spider-Man and the bad guy, like, pop right out of the comic book. At number one, we have the Disneyland Castle. I really like this model, that's why I picked it for number one. The reason why I did so is because I love that they made a custom model of the Disneyland Castle. We never got an official Disneyland Castle, but they will easily could have, like, took in, like, the main parts of the Disneyland, Disney World Castle, and, and that was released in 2016. They could have made like the main shower there and just played it and made it like the Disneyland castle. So I'm glad they made a custom design. It's way bigger than the Disney sleeping uh Disney Cinderella castle that is that came out in two thousand sixteen. It's way, way, way bigger. It's like probably a foot taller and like definitely a lot wider. And I love all the figures that they placed around the model. Great placement and they have some accuracy to like the actual park while still having a little bit of fun and playing that some stuff that never happened in the parks. So thank you for watching my top 10 list for the best um, Brick World Chicago marks in my opinion. In my opinion, all of them are great. There's no bad ones there. But these are just, in my opinion, some of my favorites. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And remember, have a great rest of your day. Bye.